Um, but I think. Oh yeah. Oh. Hey guys, this is Pam. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a perfume review for you from the house of Chanel. And I actually think that this is my favorite Chanel fragrance. In fact, this is the fragrance that made me even like Chanel number no. 5. Um, but I do love Chanel number no. 5 now. In fact, I own Law and I own um, the Parfum version. Yeah, but this is this one is the one that um, yeah made me even revisit Chanel number no. 5 when I used to not like it. Um, this immediately just captivated me, intrigued me, and um, I, I, I just love it. And that perfume is Coco, the original Coco, not Coco Noir, not Coco Mademoiselle, but Coco Eau de Parfum. Okay, I love this perfume so much that I actually purchased twice. First, I had my mom uh, buy it for me at the airport when she was traveling to visit me um, a few years ago. And she also just fell in love with it. And so I ended up gifting her that bottle. Um, but then when she was gone, I was like, OMG, I gotta have my own bottle for myself. And so I repurchased it. Um, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful fragrance, okay? In fact, I love it so much that I just purchased an uh, extra version or the parfum version um, of this one. Okay, that I haven't even opened yet because I want to unbox it with you and sniff it with you and maybe we can do a little bit of a comparison, okay? All right. Um, okay, so I actually made some notes because this perfume is just so intricate, okay? It's very intricate. Um, there's a lot going on. It, it, it's very deep um, and enveloping. Just, just, a, just a beautiful creation. So let's go ahead and just respray um, to remind myself of the opening. Okay. Oh my goodness. So the alcohol on this one, you know, because mo I mean, a lot of perfumes, most perfumes has a lot of alcohol in it. So this one, the alcohol actually dissipates fairly quickly, like in five seconds. You can go ahead and smell your, your wrist or wherever you spray it on and you can already smell it. I keep looking at my screen because I think that my battery, my camera battery might die soon. So at some point I might have to recharge, pause this video and recharge it. Okay, I thought I charged it. Going back to the perfume. Okay. So uh, this perfume never fails to wow, to wow me. Every time I spray it, I'm like, it's the same. It's like, it's the same experience. It's always good. It's always the same wow, uh, amazing experience. It's so, it, it's, this is very, very balsamic, okay? Very balsamic, vanillic, of course, um, resinous, balmy. I think, I think that is the key note or key term to describe this fragrance is very balmy it's almost like um like an actual balm like a what do you call that um you know like when you have like a headache or like a chest congestion that you it's not it's not quite vix one of those bombs that you apply to your temples or to your chest so it doesn't smell like that i'm speaking of the experience of that balm, you know, when when a balm, um, when you smell when you smell it and you inhale it, it has sort of a cooling sensation at, up here at the back of your nose. So to me, I get that experience. Okay, it it gives me it's cool, it's cooling, it's refreshing. Okay, yet this is not a freshy. This is not a fresh perfume. It's Actually, again, balmy, okay, balsamic, resinous, and very spicy. It's a lot of spices, like, you know, like cloves and some animalic tones, vanillic, 
It's very raspy, but also very round. Um, it's just, I don't know how they came up with this. It's, it's beautiful. Okay, so let me look at my notes just to make sure I don't forget anything that's important to say. Okay. Oh, yeah. So it's also sweet. So it's spicy sweet, but the sweetness, it's not too sweet. Um, it just gives you enough, I don't know, um, just enough sweetness. So it's not just like a spicy balsamic um, resinous thing that you smell that's also cooling up in your nose. <laughs> you know, it just makes it prettier and nicer. Um, the sillage in this one, so was it so like, and, and, I, and I know the sillage of this one very well because my mom worked for about two months when she was here. In fact, when she revisited me, she uh, brought her brought her bottle with her um, and she kept wearing it. So the sillage in this one, when my mom wears it and she walks around the house, for some reason, okay, because when I smell it on, like on myself, I don't smell that. But when she wears it, there's something that's kind of clean and medicinal. Um, so I don't know if it's like the spices or I, I don't know. Um, I don't really know how to explain it. But it smells kind of like a clean soapy. But more on the, on the like a clean soapy medicinal side. Okay. Now it doesn't have like a band aid type of medicinal. It's more of like a... I don't know, like a, like herbs maybe, like clean herbs, like herbs for cleaning, but it doesn't, it doesn't smell like a cleaning agent, okay, I'm just giving you the best that I could describe it, so it's, it kind of has that clean, soapy, medicinal aspect on the sillage, so I don't know if I wear it, I have that sillage, but now that I think about it, when my mom wears it, probably, but just not as much like to me like when i smell my own sillage or the bubble that's around me it's it's very balmy it has that kind of cooling sensation uh with, with that's balsamic vanillic um like it it even smells like this color okay it even smells like this color i'm gonna pause here okay um, so I can charge this camera right now. All right, I got about 27%. So hopefully that's enough time to finish up this review, um, which is probably good for me because I talk so much. So let's get on to the parfum that I got. I want to smell it with you guys. So... Again, I haven't even opened it. This is going to be the first time that I'm going to be smelling this fragrance. If you're not interested in the unboxing, please feel free to forward, okay? So it came with a sample. I actually don't remember what I got. Very nice little pouch. Um, that's a very nice pouch. I like it. It's kind of silky. Different than the um, the Guerlain um, pouches. Oh, okay. So this is Lulift Serum. Okay. So that's probably what I picked. I don't remember, but that's what we got. And let's go get on with the parfum. Okay. Let me show you what it looks like real quick. So this is a... Let's see how big this is. Um... Oh, it doesn't say. Oh, it's in the front. 15 mil. And that would be, let's see, 0.5 full weight ounces. If I keep looking at my camera, it's because I'm trying to watch the time. So I apologize. Here is the box. Beautiful. Let's compare it real quick yeah. with the other parfum. So the juice in this one is a little bit lighter. 
Hmm. I wonder if, you know, as, uh, as it ages, it turns a little darker like this one. Okay. So, I need, actually, I have a cutter somewhere. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not prepared. I thought I had prepared everything. Um, yeah, because this one has that kind of a uh, rose seal. That last time when I unboxed my uh, Chanel number no. 5 parfum, I wasn't able able to save that. Um, so what we're going to do right now is um, I'm going to cut the top part right here. So maybe I can save this part, the rose. I think I uh, managed to cut the little rope. Did I get it? Okay, but the thing is, it's still got the... No, I'm just going to have to break it because it's already breaking. Oh, be with me. This is very tough. Please don't cut your own finger. Please don't. Should have gotten scissors. But they're already here. Okay. Ooh. All right. So let's smell this baby. Oh. Just from the dabber, it smells thinner than I expected. But that's just from the dabber, so let's go ahead and dab it on my wrist. Okay. I did not want to spill that expensive, beautiful juice. Okay. I feel like every time I look at the camera, it's 1% down. Hmm. So obviously it has less of the alcohol than when you spray the Chanel uh, or the Parfum Coco. Now, I do want to tell you, the Chanel sprayers, um, atomizers, when you spray it, the mist is huge. It's got like a huge mist. It's very heavy. It's not misty. I don't know if you see that. But it's it's almost like rain. Okay? It's almost like rain. So you get a blast of alcohol and perfume everywhere. Okay? Mm -hmm. Like like if you spray it on your neck, you will see wetness on your neck. Um, okay. So, let me, let me do a little bit more because I just sprayed that already. It was uh, a little bit bombastic in terms of that alcohol it generated. Because that atomizer, I wish Chanel would improve that a little bit. Like how Guerlain's um, atomizer are m more misty. So the opening of the other parfum is definitely, of course, besides the alcohol part, um, more balmy, like mentally. The, that, that thing I was describing to you, how it's um, kind of cooling. It has that kind of cooling, balmy sensation. This doesn't have that as much, okay? I'm probably getting anosmic. Um, okay, let me just add a, a couple more dabs. Because it doesn't really give you as much as a spray would. But again, this is a parfum. This is an X-ray. Um, and with an X-ray, you can actually do that. Okay? It has more oil concentration. Okay. How do I describe this one? It's more resinous and um, it's, it defini it's definitely still got that bombiness, but it's more flat. It's flatter. It's not as mentholated, okay? Still beautiful. I feel like it's not as sweet. Um...
But again, I just resprayed this one, which is probably a bad idea because now my nose um, got olfactory fatigue from that heavy blast of alcohol. Um, it, it is beautiful. It's a little bit stickier. It's stickier, flatter. So if you like the Eau de Parfum, if you like, if you like the Coco Eau de Parfum, but you don't want it to be as a kind of a um, heavier on that balmy, mentholated aspect, then this one is not as much of that, okay? The, the Parfum, the extra. Um, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh. What I like about this one it's it's a little bit muted. It's definitely more muted. Um, and 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 I say that yeah, um, I like I like that part. It's because you kind of wanna like like look look for more of the of that scent you're smelling. Like it's kind of like looking for a sentry. Like when you're tracking somebody in in the in the wilderness or in the forest, you know you're 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 more um, uh, detailed. With 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 your with, with your observance, okay. With you trying to look for something, it's a little bit more bitter as well. The parfum, the extra version, is a muted down version of this one. Um, so definitely, if you want more projection, um, go for this one. If you want something that's kind of like bolder more out there in your face or the parfum but if you want a little bit more subdued muted a little bit flatter um more kind of like a stealthier effect than this one they almost smell the same to me um <laughs> But actually, I've, I've, I've had a dry down of this one now uh, for like at least 30 minutes now because I had to wait for my camera to charge. I would say once this has dried down, okay, in comparison to the Parfum, the Parfum to me is stronger when you're smelling it up, up close, when you're looking for it on your skin, okay? So when you're up close, you're looking for it, you're kind of like, you know, looking at the tracks, the parfum is, to me, stronger. Like, you can find it easier. But, sillage-wise, projection-wise, this is more out there. Beautiful, beautiful perfume. So, uh, this perfume, okay, co with cocoa, whether it's the other parfum or this one, this to me is like a mature scent, but not like in an old way, like in an old, like age-wise. Okay, mature in the sense that it's somebody who's experienced and confident, um, who, who's just decisive and determined. Um, it, in fact, it makes me think of somebody who's like um, like a loyal person like a loyal friend who's caring and thoughtful she's 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 firm in her in her in her standards in her in her principles so this is a principled being yet gentle and caring it's it's a lot it's a lot going on with this fragrance yet it captures you it captivates you if you haven't checked this one out it's worth checking out. It's beautiful, okay? In fact, if you don't even like Chanel number no. 5, maybe this is the one that will turn you, okay? Because that's, on my experience, this is the one that made me love, like then love, Chanel number no. 5. Finally, happy to have opened this <laughs> this little one. I've had it for like maybe a week and a half, um, but haven't opened it, so I'm saving it for this review. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance, and I think it's gonna be my fragrance of the evening. 
Again, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do so now. And I uh, hope to see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.